course, we're going to ask you too what you uh, what you think. So please, you know, chime in. Am I the asshat for asking an old woman not to pick our lavender as she walks past our house? Oh, okay. oh, okay, all right. Okay, here's what the neighbor writes. There's an old woman that walks by our house with her grandchildren. We don't have a fence between our plant and the pedestrian path. The woman picks our lavender and then encourages her grandchildren to pick the lavender too. Well, I had enough today and I went out and said in a calm tone of voice, sorry, would you mind not picking our lavender out? And then she said, are you serious? It doesn't harm the plant. I replied, that's all well and good, but well, it's just disrespectful as it's our property. Mm -hmm. And then she said, well, I have some advice for you. If you had cut it back last year, it would have grown better. You haven't done that and it hasn't grown well at all. And then made a cheeky smirk and walked away. Mm -mm. I was sort of flummoxed at that reply and closed the door. I have social anxiety and don't like confrontation. I wish I had said more. Makes me so angry that she feels that she has a right to do that. She may be right in that it doesn't harm the plant, but it's just the principle of it all. And I can't get over her rude reply about how we aren't growing it correctly. Can hardly focus on my work. I'm just pacing about Aww. with irritation. Now she has an edit here and she says, I'll add that it took a year and a half of this happening a few times a week to get to the point where I said something. So am I the asshat? Mm. 651-641-1071. Colleen? I don't know if you saw, I was, I can't. <laughs> right. There was a visual element, I Colleen. No. I can't hide my face ever. Yes. I, uh, no, she's not the asshat. Oh my gosh. Because this is what I love about Am I the Asshat is typically it there's somebody else who actually is in the story. Yeah. And in this story, it's the old lady. Because who does that? Who just wa walks up to somebody else's stuff and takes it? This happens more than you think. That's why I picked it. I know for sure, like, we'll probably all say that she's not the asshat for finally saying yes. something as the neighbor. Um, but also, you know, it's, <laughs> she finally has said something about it, but this does happen all the time. We have lilacs that grow in our yeah. yard and neighbors will come by all the time and clip them. And no, you know, those are not communal. I, I know, it's like, do I say something? Do I not? But then I also know they always grow back and, and maybe yeah. that is part of the tr trimming back, but you know, Okay, so but here's the I, other thing. I used thing. to take guavas from my neighbor all the time. Did they tell you you could touch their guavas? I never asked though. I just okay, took so them and ate them. Like that's the thing is okay. People's plants. But I wasn't the only one. Are their property? They just are. And also, what's really gross about this is that the lady then doubled down on it. It wasn't yes. just so. Like that's what makes it even worse. Is that not only is she, so I could I could see a case where she could has have said something like, oh, I'm really sorry. They're so beautiful. Yes. I, you know, I, I just thought that they were for sharing. I apologize. And then moved on with her life. But what she did instead was doubled down mm -hmm. and and told this woman how wrong she was, which is gross and tells you a lot about this lady's character. Right. You could just play nicey nice and say, well, yeah, oh, I'm I, sorry. I didn't realize this was a big deal, but I love your lavender. I mean, she might have just, yeah, it's yeah. like warm fuzzies could maybe have just said, oh, well, then go ahead. Yeah. Right. You know, but or just ask first. Right. Like, I, I don't. How hard is it to just say to somebody, hey, I, I walk by all the time. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. love your lavender. May I clip it? Yes. From, from time to time. Oh, and by the way, here's a tip. Yeah. You know, if you clip it back, then swipe might grow better. Yeah. All right. We've got so wow, we got a full line here. Okay. Let's um let's go straight to the callers here. Let's talk to Karen first, Holly. All right. Karen, thanks for calling. Oh. Goodbye. Okay. That was fun. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> good talk, Karen. <laughs> let's go to, next? Let's go to Julie. All right, Julie. Thanks so much for your call. Is this person the ass hat? Hello. Yes. Hi. Hi. Thanks for calling. What say you? I say that the person who owns the home has the right to set a boundary. Yes. And sometimes when people respond badly to the boundaries we set, it's just confirmation she did the right thing mm -hmm. setting the boundary. Oh, I and love that, Julie. the lesson to the other 
like I'm a school counselor. So I, my heart goes out to the person who had trouble standing up for herself and setting a boundary, but she did the right thing. Oh, you're yes. so right, Julie. Like oftentimes the people that we are setting the boundary to protect ourselves from are the ones that hate it the most. Right. The fact I love that she it. reacted so badly is like, oh, that's your confirmation. You did the right thing, Lavender. Yes. Over. Lavender lady, you did <laughs> Lavender it. Lavender lady. Lavender lady, you did it. We're proud <laughs> of you. Yeah, Julie, totally. that is such a good point. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Not Julie. the ass hat. Yeah. Let's talk to Chris next. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Chris. Thanks for calling. Is Lavender lady the ass hat? Yes. The, the neighbor that was taking the lavender, ah. I think she is. But, yes. And I didn't hear the last caller because I was on hold, but I just wanted to say that people with anxiety can depend on lavender for their anxiety. Oh, so yeah, that's beautiful. She needed her lavender. Oh, that's, that's such a good so point. true. That's Please calming. Mm -hmm. It's nice and calming. Yeah. yeah. Yes, great point. Thank you so much, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Now they're not the ass hat. Yeah. All right, let's talk to Jenny about this. Good morning, Jenny. Well, good morning. Good morning. Who's the ass hat here? Well, it's definitely the pedestrian. Yeah. And I say, not only is she wearing the ass hat, she's also a, setting a bad example as a grandma. Right? <gasps> good point. Because I will. I will carry this further. Were it my daughter, I would have said these are absolutely beautiful but these belong to the neighbors. Let's knock on their door. Maybe they won't mind if we pick a few. Yep. I love that. You are so because, right. Right. And God bless the lady who said anxiety at uh, people. You need lavender. Absolutely. That yeah. is wonderful. Yeah. So true. Thank you, Jenny. Thanks, Jenny. She's so right, yeah. though. Like, I totally forgot about that other piece of it. Yes. That she's not only taking it herself, but inviting her grandchildren to take from somebody else's property. Yeah. That's a look, don't touch, man. Mm -hmm. You stick your face in that, you huff, those smells are free. It's like yes. Jimmy John's in that garden. But you smell that bread. But you don't get to just take it for your own. No. Mm -mm. That's not how we roll. No. Holly? Oh, what yeah. say you? <laughs> the person who wrote this is definitely not the ass hat. Mm -hmm. The ass hat is the lavender picker. It was just her response as well that just really made it so clear. Yeah. And if you have property, you can make that boundary. And it's like, what? I don't know. Yeah. And and that such a good point from our callers, too, that setting such a bad example for your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Well, and especially if you've been sitting on this, you've seen this happen multiple times for a year and a half and then finally saying something. Right. It takes a it, it does yeah, it takes a lot to confront someone and say, Look, you can't be doing that. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. And also, I mean, to our previous callers uh point, you know, if somebody who feels entitled to that, their reaction is going to be oftentimes because if you're setting a boundary, you're setting a boundary to protect yourself from a person who's going to be offended by that. Right. Because she felt entitled to begin with. Yeah. So it's hard, right? You got to put on your armor when you stand up for yourself and put up a boundary like that. But oof. she's Ugh. not the ass hat. I hope she's done pacing. I hope she's back oh, to know. like not overthinking this. Oh, yeah. it wasn't her at all. We'll what if they get together as neighbors. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, night out. Oh, national, no. Well, National no. Night Out just happened. It so just happens, you don't yeah. have to worry yeah, about she's that. She's got time. Just, yeah. And yeah. if she's anything, you know, like me, where you just like hide in the back of your house and then you <laughs> open the blind maybe yeah. just once yeah. Yeah. during National just Night one Out. Eye. Just I see you, neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Just one eye and you're looking out there and you're like, oh, are they I'm, done yet? Yeah. Are they done? <laughs> can can I go safe? outside now? Is it safe? <laughs> national Night Out and Halloween. <laughs> right. Get to the back of the house. Yep. Lights are off, yep. kids. Yep. Well, I think it's pretty obvious who the ass hat is here. And let's make it official. Yep. Is the person who wrote the Reddit post an asshat? Mm -mm. The results are in. Shh. You are not the asshat. <laughs> no. All right. I love it. Very nice. I hope she was listening and I hope she feels better. Yeah. And mm -hmm. maybe the old lady's listening. Yeah, you are terrible. What are you doing? <laughs> Nobody likes you. Oh, she needs her lavender. somebody does, but leave their <laughs> lavender alone. Yeah, don't teach your grandchildren that either.
Mm. You're nasty. Ugh. Okay, well, we do this every Monday and Wednesday for Am I the Ass Hat? Pull it directly from the Reddit feeds. Great callers today. Thank you guys for calling. Thanks for hanging with us this morning.